My name's Chris Price. Uh, I work at Ericsson in our open source division. I'm involved in open source and have been for a while. I work with the Linux Foundation, the OpenStack Foundation, and of course with Erlang. Erlang was born from the Ericsson Labs, of course, um, and it emerged and evolved within Ericsson for some time, making its way into a number of products uh, before the decision was taken to make it open source and, and the journey that it's taking today. From its humble beginnings, uh, when Erlang was, was just an operating system and language in Ericsson, uh, to when it became open source, we saw a little bit of growth, but it's grown a lot more in the last 10 years or so, uh, as other communities have picked up parts of Erlang and integrated into their own systems. Uh, we now have a thriving community that's doing great. Erlang open source is turning 20 years today, um, and before that it was an Ericsson uh, language and, and operating system, uh, specifically designed for telecommunications and, and uh, high transaction volumes. Uh, since that time, Ericsson's used Erlang in a number of products. Um, we, we sometimes say that 40% of the world's traffic runs over Erlang, uh, mobile traffic that is. Um, but we've been a, a user and a contributor um, and, and the caretakers of Erlang for a long time now. Well, we're going through the 5G transformation journey. Um, we're looking at how to bring in open source technologies, uh, Erlang, Kubernetes, uh, OpenStack, uh, new IoT solutions. Uh, and what you'll start to see coming from Ericsson is these technologies being delivered as part of an end-to-end -end solution uh, to two operators and networks around the world that will enable a new wave of innovation uh, through, through the networks. Well, I think what we're going to see is a difference or a change in how we utilize the network. The network will become like an extended data center. Uh, you'll then be able to adjust the way you deliver services. Uh, gaming will change. Uh, augmented reality will, will become more part of our day-to-day -day lives. Um, and you'll start to see people delivering services and, and delivering technology to the edge and, and in a distributed fashion. Moving forwards as Erlang uh, evolves and grows, uh, we'll start to see, I think, a higher level of language evolve around it. Uh, you'll start to see uh, more complex applications being developed on it. Um, the sky's the limit when it's open source.